Today on Football Analyzed, at 21 years of age, Florian Wirtz is taking the world by storm. His 22 goal contributions, incredible dribbling, passing and finishing, were key in bringing Leverkusen their first ever Bundesliga title. But how does he do this? What makes him so good? This is player analysis by Football Analyzed. Before we jump into it, I have to ask you to subscribe. And why not? Because you'll receive high quality football analysis posted every single Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That is a huge win-win. Let's go. Virch receives the ball, looks up and sees that this defender is marking his teammate. So he keeps the ball, dribbles forward a bit, drawing in this defender and making room for his teammate's run. A run that he picks up perfectly with a brilliantly weighted pass and his teammate very nearly scores. Virch receives the ball and again he just waits for the defender to close him down. And once he dives in, he instantly skips away. This is a very bad move from the defender. Never just dive in on a player like Florian Wirtz. He's just going to leave you behind. And then he cuts inside, engaging another defender, opening up space for his teammate's run. Which he plays and then makes himself very available for the return pass. A return pass that he ends up receiving, and this results in a goal. Brilliant work from Vert. Vert is what some would call clean through, but he sees his teammates run, and he also sees how close the defender is to him. So after making sure the defender is fully committed, he plays an incredible backheel pass to his teammate, who now has a clean shot on goal. Unfortunately, he cannot finish it off. Vortz makes a great run, bringing the defender with him away from the danger zone, but he's never going to be able to finish from this kind of position, so he spots a brilliant pass. A pass that he executes absolutely perfectly, and this results in a smooth goal for Leverkusen. Wurtz's body positioning signals to defenders that he wants to make a pass to the far side of the pitch. This opens up space for his teammate's brilliant run. And he slots an absolutely perfect pass to his teammate, who finishes off the chance. Wirtz looks up and spots his teammate's run, but he doesn't really want to play the ball directly to his teammate. What's he going to do from that kind of position? He plays the ball perfectly in front of him. And by the time the ball lands, his teammate has an almost perfect shot on goal. And he finishes it off brilliantly. That is an incredible pass from Vert. If he hadn't played the ball to his teammate where he was standing, that would never have happened. He played the perfect pass. This is more straightforward. He looks up and he sees his teammates run, but it is still a very hard run to pick out. And he does it brilliantly. The ball separates the defenders from his teammate and allows him to finish it off. Vert shows the defender the ball then absolutely snatches it away, making the defender look pretty stupid. Then his head is up instantly and he's looking for his teammate's run. And at the end of it all is an absolutely perfectly weighted pass, which his teammate finishes off. Vort receives the ball and is instantly being closed down by multiple defenders, but he spots an absolutely brilliant pass yet again. Vorts had basically no time to find that pass, but he did, almost instinctively. It is all about practice. Vorts loses the ball momentarily, but he wins it back and now is looking for his teammate's run. And he tricks everyone with his pass. It looked at first to everyone, the defenders, me, all of you guys watching, that he was going to play the far option, the reasonable option. But he spotted an insane ball and he played it perfectly. And with the defenders absolutely scattered, his teammate now has an easy finish, which he unfortunately misses. Vorts is not in a good position to score, so what does he do? He just makes his way into the box. That is the best thing to do if you want to score from this kind of position. How are you going to score from there? You need to get into the box. And now that he is in the box, he takes a touch out wide, faking a shot, putting the defender on his ass. And now, after driving in a little bit more, he has time and space for a shot. 
One that he fires into the back of the net. That is an incredible goal from Wurz. He, he started near the corner flag and ends up scoring. Wurz makes a great run in between defenders and stays on side. And the finish is incredible. With his first touch, he fires the ball off the near post and in. And do not be fooled by how easy he makes this look. You and me could not do this if we had 50 attempts. Volch receives the ball on the edge of the area. This is not a good place to score. So what does he have to do? Cut inside. And he uses two fake shots to cut inside brilliantly. Now he has space to shoot for real. And he curls the ball brilliantly into the far corner. Wurtz receives the ball, turns and looks for a pass, but he realises there isn't really a pass on, so he drives forward and is ready for a shot. And the shot is incredible, an absolute bullet into the back of the net. It is not the first time we have seen Wurtz score like that. Wurtz keeps himself onside, receives the ball and instantly cuts off the defender and drives towards the goal. And effortlessly tucks the ball past the goalkeeper. To summarise, Florian Wurtz has some of the best attacking assets out of every player in the world. His incredible finishing, dazzling dribbling and instinctive passing have been trained for hours and hours. You simply cannot receive the ball under pressure and pick out a brilliant pass on the bigger stage if you haven't done it hundreds of times on a smaller stage. So how can you play like Florian Wurtz? To train your passing, set up a series of cones 10 metres from yourself and play the ball against a wall, receive it and pass to one of those cones. To train your dribbling, cone dribbles are king. Set up cones in any pattern and dribble around them. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. For high quality football analysis posted every single Monday, Wednesday and Friday, subscribe to Football Analyzed and I'll see you guys in the next one.